It is a competition dating back to the 1920s, giving women the opportunity to earn the iconic title of Miss America. But before they wear that crown, they first have to win the title of Miss Pennsylvania. Thanks for being here with us at 6 o'clock. I'm Joel D. Smith. Tonight, a contestant with a local crown stepping out of the spotlight, saying she feared for her life. CBS 21's Jasmine Brooks has the exclusive interview with the woman who dropped out just days before the pageant. Scholarships from the Miss Pennsylvania competition give thousands of dollars to young women competing and a chance to compete on the national level. So why did Miss Susquehanna Valley give that up in her final year of competing? I sat down with her to find out. I can't wait to see the life leave your eyes as I crush your whole world. You will kill yourself or I will kill you. Threats to kill her, her loved ones, and her animals. That's what former Miss Susquehanna Valley Robin Kasturgi received for three months between March and May this year. She says, from a sister with a crown. I will come to D.C. and set your house on fire and watch you scream as your dogs die. It'll be so funny. The stage has been Kasturgi's home for years, competing for the crown, hoping to get away from this kind of behavior. I was getting bullied really badly in high school, and my mom decided to put me back into them to help gain self-confidence. Cass Jurgy claims the same young woman also threatened her in person. It happened at the Miss Pennsylvania orientation, actually. It was a very quick incident. Uh, I was going into the bathroom basically as she was coming out, and she whispered, I will get rid of you, and I will punch you, and then just kept walking, and I just kind of stood there. What exactly is this? After going through a civil trial in front of a judge, that is the judge's order saying that she is found responsible for sending those text messages, for threatening, threatening me in person, and stalking. This anti-stalking order states, quote, the respondent shall stay at least 100 yards away from petitioner's person, home, workplace, vehicle, animals, boyfriend, and mother, with one exception. The two women were permitted to be just 20 feet apart when participating in a contest or pageant. And this week, they were set to take this stage at the Appel Center to compete for the title Miss Pennsylvania. But hours before arriving to York County, Cass Jurgi withdrew her name and gave up her title. A lot of those messages say, like, get out of the pageant. Mm -hmm. And you did. I did. I didn't want to, but ultimately, it was the best decision for the safety of myself and my loved ones. In a two-page response, the Miss Pennsylvania Foundation writes, quote, safety and security is and always has been at the forefront of Miss Pennsylvania's operations. It says the organization brought in additional security from an external company, that York police were notified about the anti-stalking order, and that, quote, detailed plans were also put in place to keep the contestants separated. The organization says it also told Cass Jurgi the specifics of the plan. Communication, she says, never happened. And it's part of the reason why she took off the crown. Unfortunately, my time with the organization is up, but I'm not the only one this is happening to, and I want them to take a stand against this and let the other victims that are currently competing know that there are options for them and that coming forward isn't going to bring some sort of retribution on them by Ms. America. But could there be a different reason she dropped out? The foundation says Cass Jurgi is registered to vote in Washington, D.C., has a car registered there, and when it asked her to provide a current driver's license, that's when the organization says she resigned. So they're saying that you don't live in Pennsylvania. I own a house in Pennsylvania. I spend 50% of my time here. I pay taxes here. And had my eligibility been you know, up for question. Why didn't they ask me that when I was crowned? Cass Jurgi admitted to having a D.C. license because she has a job there and spends the other half of the year in the nation's capital. But she says the spotlight is being put on the wrong issue. Like I said, there's still seven girls competing this week that are absolutely terrified of this person and of the organization, of what the organization will do if they come forward. The woman who Cass Jurgi says is behind the text will still be in front of others on stage. No charges have been filed, and that's why we did not release her name. Both sides say empowering women is their goal. But moving forward... If you are truly an organization that is supposed to empower and uplift women, don't allow bullying, harassment, and death threats in your organization. 
The Miss Pennsylvania Foundation also wrote to CBS 21 quote, while we could take legal action against Robin for a multitude of reasons, that is always an avenue of last resort. When we spoke to Robin about that, she essentially said to bring it on. I'm Jasmine Brooks. Back to you.